Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're full glam. I really like how this look came out. I'm actually impressed with myself that they're even. Because that doesn't happen too often. Sometimes they may look even, but they're not always even. But today, I think they actually are even. This was supposed to be more of a plum eye, but I don't think it's very plum. It's more like a reddish auburny. I don't even know, but it's not plum. But I will do a plum eye because I said I would. <laughs> so I will another time. So this is the look we did today. So if you want to see how I got this whole look, please keep watching. So I'm taking the shade Turned On from my Morphe palette. This is a 35V palette. And I'm starting by working this shade into the crease. This is my Zoeva 228 brush. And now I'm going in with the shade Trist. And I'm gonna pack this on the outer corner and then kind of work it into the crease as well. This is just a Marc Jacobs brush I'm using. It's just a little bit smaller than the Zoeva brush. And the next shade I took was In The Zone, which is just a warm, dark brown, just to kind of deepen that crease a little bit more. And now to cut the crease, I'm gonna use Shape Tape. I find this is like the best product to use for doing this type of look because it's full, full coverage and it's not too liquidy. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of doing the inner to like the center part of the eye. And then I like to blend the concealer back into the shadow. And then the, col the first color I'm putting on the lid is called Tell Me More. So I'm put, pressing that pretty much like all over the main part of the lid. And then in the inner corner, I took the shade Heartbreaker, which is, as you can see, a little bit of a, a lighter pink. Just so we kind of have that contrast of the light going into the deeper and then going into the matte shades. Now I'm just taking the shade Little Black Book, which is just like a black shadow. And I'm going on the outer parts of the eyes with this just to make it a little bit more smokier and just deepen the outer part of the eye. So now I'm going in with my liner, I'm taking the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner, which is like a felt tip liner, which is my favorite type of liner to use. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna whack on it a wing. This liner is really nice. The only thing it has more, it's not really a matte finish which I don't love, but it definitely stayed on and it's very easy to use. Now going into skin, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs primer as pretty much always and just priming my skin and then in with my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. We're just gonna go all over. I think this was the shade Nude that I used. Yeah, I'm almost 100% certain it was Nude or it was light beige, <laughs> I can't remember, it was one or the other. And I'm blending that in with my Ofra Beauty Sponge. So taking Shape Tape, this is the shade of Light Sand, and we're gonna highlight and conceal with this, as usual. And then, yeah, same Beauty sp Sponge then, just to blend it all in. I've been loving these sponges lately, they're really, really, really good. This is the Too Faced um, Contour, stick things i don't know what they're called or what are they called i can't remember anyway it's those this is the shade mocha so i'm just using it just to bronze and contour my skin i'll link the proper one below i just forget what it's called right now and i'm gonna set using lawless translucent powder so i like to put this on with a sponge this is something i've been liking to do lately i don't bake but i just kind of press it in and it just gives it that really nice flawless finish underneath the eye. I find it's been working really, really well for me. Next up, bronzer. This is a bronzer from Pretty Vulgar, which is actually a really, really good bronzer. It's really pigmented, so you only need a small amount at a time. For under my eye, I'm just taking my Marc Jacobs liner in the shade Earthquake, and I'm just blending that in to my lower lash line, and then blending it out with the shades that I used in the crease. And I'm taking the shade Pink of Me for my waterline, just to brighten the eyes a little bit more. And I'm using my NARS Climax mas Mascara, which I only recently started to use, and it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. And of course, Lily Lashes in the style Ella for my lashes. And I'm gonna highlight with Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive, 
just pretty much everywhere. For my lips, I'm taking Child Star Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced, which is like one of my ultimate favorite nudes. And then on top is this pink gloss from MAC. I forget the name again, I will link it below. But it just has that really nice, soft, subtly pinky sheen. And then again, I'm taking this of my Rodeo Drive just to highlight my inner corners. Just to finish off the look and brighten that a little bit more. So this is the finished look. I really like how it came out. I really like this lid colour. This tutorial took me, like, honestly all day long. Because I was so cranky today. Because I'm PMSing like a mother Everything's been irritating me for the past, like, two, three days. And I don't usually get mood swings like this. I'm fine right now. But earlier on, honestly, I could have punched somebody straight in the face. Anybody. I was just so... <gasps> you know, I don't know why. I was just so irritated and agitated. Agitated, that's probably the word. I don't know. Hormones. <laughs> Crazy right now. So if you're PMSing right now and you're a grump, just know that you're not alone because I am the same. Okay? I am a grump too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.